Thanks a lot, Chris. You know, there's a lot you like about this performance from the Nets, Richard. I think the biggest thing that would stand out is the way the Nets played the fourth quarter. In Indiana, the Nets had felt in control of the game through the first three quarters. Had a little slippage the final minute of the third, but for the most part, had a rhythm. And then in the fourth, things fell apart. They allowed 40 points, kind of went ISO offensively. But here, in this fourth quarter, Richard, they defended. Their reserves defended. When their starters came back in, they defended. They hold Portland to 17 points in the fourth. They outscored them by 10. And I think that was the kind of bounce back and attention to detail Jock Vaughn wanted to see to start off this seven-game homestand. Yeah, and, and you're right. If you're going to have this homestand and if they can get this thing going, they can push themselves back into that mix where they need to. So this is one of their most important, important stretches of the season. But what I liked about their defense that is there was a continuity there was a consistency to their defense they didn't score a ton of points tonight it wasn't in the 120 the 125 they didn't do it via their offense even though they've got tons of contributions from Seth and, and Kyrie and even Ben with his assist and the way he was pushing the ball to create open shots they did it with their defense they were very consistent with that and that's what you want to see it's never going to be great because there's so many talented teams that come in here but if you give that consistent effort for fourth quarters for four quarters positive things will happen you know one thing we've noticed about Jock Vaughn in the early going as well is he is willing to change things up with his substitution patterns try things today he goes to Edmund Sumner Sumner gives the Nets 10 really good minutes mm -hmm. in this game he decides not to play Patty Mills and Markeith Morris even the way he was able to mix and match down the stretch of the fourth quarter and of course a key man who Jock turned to was Seth Curry who was just outstanding throughout this game no he, he was outstanding and and you know we asked him that question post game it's like hey you were kind of the first to really find your form because Joe Harris coming off of surgery he's coming out for sure with Ben and he mentioned he's like hey look Ben is, I, it's starting to come for yep. Ben and we've all been talking about that we talked about it in the pregame but also for, for Joe Harris in my opinion Joe Harris is a talented talented three-point shooter and we could start to see him trying to figure it out getting his distance right once they get all of those things going and that could happen on this seven game stretch imagine the Nets KD Kyrie Ben Ben is starting to get his groove now you already see what Seth is doing then Joe Harris once he finds his mix I believe that over this next seven game home stretch where guys can get extra shots they can get all the recovery all of the treatment i think joe harris will find his his shot over these next six games